it would be very easy to say that in some ways there's no real problem of Islamic law because it's not really recognized as law um, in the West. It's not really recognized as having a real legal presence. But because marriages and divorces are recognized by the, by the British judiciary, but they have to be also recognized according to the Western legal sense, they have to slowly start realizing that with marriage and divorce, with contracts, come other issues, such as children, custody issues, which in the classical world are completely at odds with the British legal system. And I think at the moment there is a real, perhaps this is where I would conclude, that there is a real gap in a growing interest in how do Muslims think about Sharia, what is it about Sharia, but actually at the same time realizing that there is a minefield that British, British lawyers, barristers, solicitors have actually no concept of, that they have no idea what they're getting themselves into. And if they get the wrong expert, or if they get somebody who wants to defend for the reason of just defending something, these, this is about people's lives. So it's actually quite terrifying in a way, that something that has no legal validity in a way, no, it's not even on people's radar, when it comes to questions in, in real cases, there is such a gap, and the legal profession, I think, is really struggling as to how to make sense of a minority faith and culture which is bringing about legal issues which the host community has absolutely no idea how to deal with.